Welcome back everybody, and I'm going to be doing two Machamp raids with Mewtwo and two Gengar raids. Um, both of each raid I'm going to try using all individual Pokemon, like this one right here. And for the other ones I'm going to be doing doubles, like two Alakazams and whatnot. Alright, so I was getting, not on this one in particular I don't think, but they were doing their specials <laughs> and it wasn't even showing the animation. So oh, there was no indication for me to dodge. Yeah, there I did it just then. Yeah, so Mewtwo performed pretty good. I don't know if I want confusion. Psycho Cut might be a little bit better because um, this has already been known, obviously, to me. But uh, dodging with Psycho Cut is going to be a lot easier, uh, a lot more smooth. And it's going to charge up my special. And I don't know. I'm thinking if I want to change Psychic back to Shadow Ball. I can't make up my mind. Yes, I have two Mewtwo's, but I, um, I, I don't really want to power up the other one right now. Uh, I will eventually, but as you can see, didn't pretty doing pretty good. Um, I could have done better. It's just, like I said, it wasn't showing the animation for Heavy Slam. And on the other Gengar, uh, he had Shadow Ball, and it wasn't showing the animation every time. He would just attack. And he wasn't even standing still. He was just doing his regular quick attack. So there was no indication for me to dodge. So, uh, ended up losing. Oh, I was trying to quit it so I can try again because of the glitch and all that. But, uh, I, yeah, I took it down all the way pretty much and tried to back out and then that did not happen. So here we go into the catch screen. Um, going to use a golden raspberry because that's a thousand candies at the moment with this event. So you don't want to pass that up. Even if the event wasn't going, um, I would still put a golden raspberry to it because the candies are worth it. All right, so caught that Machamp and beat him pretty good. All right, so we're going to go on to the next one, and I have two Gengars and two Alakazams. Um, I was going in with the intent that I wanted to just attack and not dodge. So when you see that one coming up, you're like, what? what is, why isn't he not dodging? Because I, I wanted to take the hits. Uh, that's actually mostly with Gengar. <laughs> it's, it was pretty bad. I took the hits with Alakazam, and then I took the hit with Espeon. And Gengar, and wow, that Shadow Ball completely just demolished them. I definitely shouldn't have done that. Um, but with that said, dodging the specials is a definite must. It it doesn't really affect your time so much uh, if you know when to dodge them. Um, because if you're like sitting there dodging for five seconds, uh, that's going to affect you. But if you just do one swipe or two swipes, uh, you should be good. But for instance, if you're using an Alakazam or a... Uh, Espeon to attack a Gengar and you don't dodge uh, if he's using a focus blast uh, you know he's still gonna put on good damage to you but if you're using if it has shadow ball you're gonna get wrecked <laughs> seriously just one hit so it's definitely worth the dodging uh, those uh, charge moves because in the end you're gonna be able to do more damage because uh, those are your heaviest hitters if that's who you're using to attack which more than likely you're going to be using Espeon and Alakazam to attack Gengar. All right, so with that said, here we go. We're in this uh, doing pretty good. Espeon is just so nice. It can take a few more hits than Alakazam. I'm pretty sure. Uh, Alakazam is nice. He has a. Uh, I don't know how much more attack. I'm pretty sure they're right on the fence there together. But nonetheless, they're both great. Uh, Gengar is especially good. Not very effective. Well, it's just normal. Uh, but it does so much damage because it resists what it's doing, fighting type. If it has heavy slam, that's another story. But it uh, it didn't. It had a dynamic punch, yeah. And this one was at uh, Starbucks, so very good. Uh, I do have more Entei footage coming, guys. I have it actually right now. It's just I don't want to overwhelm you guys, you know, with the uh, Entei this, Entei that. Uh, so I'll we'll put that up tomorrow. But um, yeah. So I recommend you use Gengar up against a um, Machamp, personally. Uh, I know I've told you everybody this before, but uh, it's just like, you know, not very effective to you, neutral damage to it, and you're dealing high DPS with Gengar, first of all, period. Uh, so anyways, we're going to defeat this Machamp here, and I'm going to let those uh, Gengar raids play out. I'm not going to talk through the whole thing. I just wanted to give you guys a little insight what's going on here. Say hello. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we beat this Machamp. Now we're going to go on to catch it. 
or another thousand candies. Very nice. And some more rare candies and a fast TM. Not bad. I can use charge TMs, thank you. But I guess not today. <laughs> um, and another thing, a little uh, hint into the future of my videos is um, I'm going to be uploading uh, Catching Entei's Critical Catch. Yes, it's happening again. No berries. <laughs> Crazy. I'm not too sure on one of them. I have to go recap them or recap this one in particular. But there was one where I think I caught it last throw. It was an And it was an excellent throw. Uh, last ball and no berry critical catch. Wow, what a double whammy. It was like, what? Are you serious? It might have been, if it wasn't my last ball, it definitely was, was my second to the last for sure. All right, so we're going in here with Mewtwo with the uh, not all uh, unique Pokemon. We're using doubles there just to do as much DPS as we possibly can. And uh, Mewtwo is good to fight Gengar. It's just he does you know a lot of damage towards you. It's just like the double-edged sword, I guess you could say that. Um, you're, you're dealing good damage to it, but it's also wrecking you at the same time. And with that confusion, it makes it a little bit difficult to dodge on point uh, every time, especially when you're just attack and attack, trying to do as much damage. And there it goes, Mewtwo. Holding on by a thread. Now he's down. Yep. He didn't seem like he did that much damage, but... Uh, if I would have had Shadow Ball and Psycho Cut, it would have been another story. With Confusion and Psychic, that's nice for gems and all, because of the Blissies and the Snorlax. But when you're fighting these uh, raid bosses, you need something that you can tack quick, get out of the way, and deal massive damage. And what is that set? That set is Psycho Cut and Shadow Ball. Um, yeah, th th I mean, that's it. Uh, you could use, if you have Focus Blast or... Uh, something else on your Mewtwo. I mean, that those are nice. They're all nice moves. It's just uh, for a specific playstyle, you need to have that set ready to go all the time. So Psycho Cut and Shadow Ball is going to be your ideal, probably, raid attacker. Psychic is nice. I might have to try Psycho Cut and Psychic. Uh, see how fast that uh, Psycho Cut can charge up my Psychic move there. Wow, that's a lot of Psychics. <laughs> Alrighty, so with all that said, after this we're going into the one with uh, just uh, all individual Pokemon to see what I can do there. And wow, I was sitting at one for just a, a while trying to do it over and over again because my Mewtwo kept getting destroyed uh, with his Shadow Ball because there was no indication. The first time, I will admit, I didn't dodge correctly and I got hit and it did massive damage. I was like, no, nah, I can't. I'm not doing this. I gotta start it over. And then when I did start over, of course, it started doing Shadow Ball without me even knowing. Uh, you'll see here in a minute. Basically, what was happening is I would attack and attack, you know, and he would be doing his Shadow Ball, or I mean, uh, Shadow Claw, the first quick attack. And then all of a sudden, my health would just m magically go down to m basically nothing or cut in half. And that makes a big difference uh, when you dodge. So it makes Mewtwo, like, kind of look bad, <laughs> unfortunately. But... Don't don't think he's not. He's not super great like like you would think he would be uh, for all this hype they bring him up to be. But then again, you know what? It would be so OP, you know. But he's good. Uh, his CP gets up there high, and he can take out things nicely. Uh, I'm not trying to downplay it at all. So let's go ahead and catch this uh, Gengar here for a thousand candy or <laughs> Stardust. Yes, I know. My last video, I said. I said 6,000 Snorlax candy. I meant Stardust. <laughs> All right, so we caught that one. And I'm going to go ahead and let this one play out, let you enjoy it without me uh, talking anymore. And, um, yeah, I hope this gave you a bit of an insight. Uh, I don't know if it was so much a teach video. I, I guess, you know, I taught you guys a few things or I said a few things that maybe some people didn't know, but it was more of a, a demonstration uh, and not even an accurate one, to be honest, because of the... Um, the whole shadow ball hitting me while I was, you know, not ready. Uh, while it was just not even showing its animation. Like, it, you've seen it do that little animation right there. It wasn't doing that. It, it was just hitting me no matter what. Alright, anyways. Enjoy the rest of this video and thank you for watching.
okay, have a look here. Look at the health. No, no special, and there it went. There was no shadow ball indication. Let's play that again, and there it went. Wow, lovely. So yeah, I was basically stuck here for about 30 minutes trying to do this. Not that I couldn't beat it. I could have beat it even if I was getting hit without any indication. I just wanted to make a pretty decent video for you guys, but it, it was to the point where I was like, okay, I, I can't wait any longer. The other raids are going to despawn, so I'm just going to go with it. <laughs> Whatever. All right, so yeah, pretty wacky, and make sure you look out for that. If